free expression. You could say anything you want. You could talk about how much money you have, how much money you don't have, how hungry you are. You could talk about anything from a girlfriend to an ex-girlfriend to a mom to a dad to a sister to a brother, anything. I love women, and no adjective or synonym could describe the love and respect I have for them. I love all kinds, continent or on an island. No colors reach these eyes, it's like I'm color blinded. I've dated them so light it looked like the sun rays have never made way to her skin. Had them so dark that charcoal is pale in comparison. If I could find a medium or middle, Middle Eastern or Mexican might be the right complexion, which race is my favorite, should never be the question. For me, it's nearly impossible to discriminate. It's not the mind, it's not the way that she speaks, but the way she articulates her mind state. Last May, on a Wednesday, I met a girl now known as my girlfriend. She unlocks doors and marriage is a door I can't wait to open. And this new boyfriend I have is something like a four-leaf clover when stumbled upon accidentally can bring the finder luck and favorable fortune. Legend has it that if it's a woman that makes this discovery, the next man she meets will be her soulmate. And I'm not one to tell tales of fictitious facts, so for me to advertise him as a man in my dreams would mean I would have to go against my honesty because he's way more than my dreams could ever think of. He's perfect in ways I didn't know existed. The way he holds my hands, he holds more than just my life in his. And with our fingers interlocked, he has my life in his palms. And then I realized he couldn't do something as simple as look me in the eyes, and I asked him about it, and he replied, Staring in your eyes is like skydiving in a paradise. Yeah, I'm scared of heights, but I must admit the thrill is nice. Our moonlit phone conversations finally got caught. When I told Daddy I was happy, he said I could bring him by. I thought it'd be nice to meet the moms and pops and whatnot. But the fact that I was black, I was told not to come back. I couldn't handle what that implied. My mind couldn't grasp it as racism, genetics, and so I swear I'm adopted. How astounding. How can you have such racial boundaries? If racism was water, I swear it'd be surrounding me. With my Hispanic family tree, I should have expected my deep-rooted blood to not want to cultivate other soils. Being judged by my parents is one thing. Stepping out into public, I thought would be different, but, but... when I see them out in public, I think, how dare he not want a strong black sister who's been breaking her back to be at his side since the motherland was our home. I survived the boat ride so I could pick cotton at your side. And I, woman, she's taking our black love. You and I were destined to be one since Egyptian cotton was how they used to describe our soft skin. You stepping out with her like she's royalty? Don't you know that that I am the original queen, the descendant of Nefertiti, a blessing from the black Athena. I have Isis flowing through my veins. My history and yours is told the same. She's so proud of her culture. And as you indulge in her, you take in her past and leave ours right there as the past. I to whip her ass. Which one of you are gonna tell me how your children will know how female circumcision is a religious custom in Africa? How the Harlem Renaissance introduced the world to Zora Neale Hurston and Paul Ernest Dunbar? And will your children ever know that if it wasn't for John L. Love, my pencil will never be sharp enough to continue to tell you how much you're becoming an epidemic to the black race? Yo, fuck that shit. Now I respect the fact you want to keep race intact, but you neglect the fact that I'm the opposite. My background surrounds three different continents, Asia, Africa, and Europe. I'm like ancient Pangea, these landmasses stirred up into one. An individual whose cultures connect to uphold and respect, not here to collect negative feedback. I see that straight lace, aka straight race, will never get passed by its opinions until they chiseled the narrow mind and brought in the choice within them. If you want to fight this, then listen. Diminish the mission that put the KKK in commission. Put segregation in submission, that's why the solution has risen for this interracial and multicultural condition. You see, without us mixed nuts, there would be no freedom in America. Racism in your area is killing people like malaria. So free your mind so we can redefine truths in others. That's why I see human beings, but I stay blind. I mean, we, they showed in San Francisco that they have a chance. They do. And um, as long as everybody, as long as everybody stays on their grind, we have a shot.